Today marks a very special anniversary of one of the biggest battles of the Civil War, and it happened right here in Middle Tennessee. Fox 17's Roger Suzanne joins us now with more on this sesquential, sesquicentennial. That's a mouthful, Roger, of the Battle of Franklin. <laughs> Eric, it sure is. And you know, the Battle of Franklin was the five bloodiest hours of the Civil War. But today at Carnton Plantation in Franklin, hundreds of people honored the men who fell on November 30th, 1864. For some, though, the historic battle runs through their veins. So sleep, good soldiers, rest you well. Your work on earth will futures tell. A blanket of light honors the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Franklin. 10,000 luminaries, one for every single casualty here. And from the back porch of Carnton Plantation, most assuredly, let freedom ring. He was about four brigades in from the river. Barth Walding appreciates this day of remembrance, but his connection here is deeply personal. It's like hollowed ground to me. Barth's great-great-great-grandfather was Private Jacob Boland. He fought the battles all the way from Chickamauga down to Atlanta. The Confederate soldier from Alabama died at the Battle of Franklin and is buried here at his great-great-great-grandson's feet. I love him and I, I thank him for what he did. Barth has love and gratitude for a man he never met, and also for the group of men and women here in Middle Tennessee who make sure his ancestor has a fitting final resting place. I'm very appreciative to everyone that takes care of it. 150 years has passed since Private Jacob Boland died along with thousands of other men, but Barth says he feels their presence here on this now quiet battlefield covered in a blanket of light. He was actually fighting for what he believed in and and uh, trying to take care of his family. Bright hearts have marched away. Now tonight, in honor of the men who died, free tours were available at the Carter House and Carnton Plantation. I can tell you, a huge crowd, hundreds of people, took advantage of the opportunity to learn more about this historic battle. Roger Susanen, Fox 17 News.